All right, so on Ritter, you guys, we do need to just, uh, you know, we can remove these few little baseboards for him. Are these cabinets coming out? Yeah, you guys. Okay, so we might as well get rid of this and get rid of this stupid little crown up here for him. And then, um, and then, you know, if we're going to remove trash, we can remove the trash uh, outside and inside. But just check to see if that dirt needs to go or not. And what, what else needs to go? That needs to be widened still. This needs to be widened still so we can just remove the drywall around this whole corner and just open up this whole corner so we can see it and we can widen this opening. Uh, these cabinets go, is the cabinets in this area already gone? Uh, is there any, oh, upstairs, Bob, the uh, Unritter residence, uh, upstairs, the um, the shower pan, we need another three quarter inch plywood because you're not going to meet your two inch clear once you put the, um, you know, thing. So I wonder if somebody can do that, can remove plywood. At least half or three quarters of an inch plus um dave nailed all of that area so it needs to be those nails need to be brought out maybe screwed because they're just popping up and i'm, I'm worried about the hot mops we want to make sure that that's covered make sure it's inspected before we go what else is there a pocket they're going here this just gets open so we're going to remove the drywall from this side remove this electrical because this is going to get up. and push up for um so it's going to be just an opening yeah so a little bit of drywall removed there get it ready for the framers and then this one, we got to do a double wall pocket door. Is that what you yeah, want to do? We're going to do a one by three or something right here. Uh, so I can hang tile and then the pocket door goes in there. Okay. So some of this uh, framing that he wants to do. And then, you know, we got to take care of the, um, the uh, hot mopping for this after we frame that. Uh, the door needs to be ordered on this. Uh, the windows needs to be uh, priced out and get his approval. And that needs to be ordered right away. I do need to order a pocket door for here, but I don't know how we're gonna be able to do the jam. So maybe next time I come in here, how is this gonna work out? Are we gonna fur out both walls? No, just- Why do you want a pocket door? Let's just forget the pocket door. Honestly, no, it's just gonna be crazy I'm not stuff. forgetting it because I can't, I've already had to live with the door in yeah. here. It is absolute nightmare. There's no way, there's no room. What about, what about doing like a barn door or something? That possibly could, you know, I mean, I, I would just do a barn door right here because it's, so, it's already so small. You're going to make this even smaller. But can you this do is, a plumbing barn? Plumbing is in the way. Can you do a barn? How are you going to do a barn door here? It's just a powder bathroom, right? I mean, you just have a barn door and slide that way. Maybe no cabinets there. No, we're having... Well, you guys are doing a cabinet there. Yeah, but I mean, saying you have enough... I don't need room. any here. But so I would just do a barn door going this way to the left. You come in here, boom. Can you... Oh, I'm sorry. Can you, you have privacy it, through that though? It's, it's private enough, I think. I don't know. I've never done it in a bath. I've seen people do it in a bathroom. But that's your best bet because you just, I mean, you can't have a shower. You can't make this room any smaller. Or, I mean, the barn door also will come out to this room, but it's going to go this way. But this is all going to be opened up. So that's going to help you, you widen the opening. Here, though. Is that gonna well, when you walk in, no, it's going to be tough too. I don't think you can pull that off. What if a, what if a pocket door goes to the left? I'm fine with it, but how are you going to put a switch? Or I guess you could put a switch outside somewhere. Yeah, you can. I put the switch somewhere. I got to be able to get to the switch. You're going to have to put this switch over to this side. Get rid of all this electrical. We're going to have to remove all this drywall, and then make the pocket door go this way. I mean, that's the only. Other, I mean, that's, I think a, that's your best that's ideal choice. Ideal doing because it. Because you need a stiff shower, yeah. and then and then you can maybe possibly have your switch outside are you getting inspections i don't know whatever i do whatever i need to do so. but on the rest of your job are you getting permits I, is there permits on the rest of your job i don't know this do you was, want permits on the rest of your job in the kitchen is, is there a permit in the kitchen do they come and do an inspection the city well, i don't know that's your guys's deal the kitchen do stuff you, do you want it if because this is the right uh, time to do it if you want permits yeah well, i just assume we had permits on everything all right bob just double check to see if there's permits and make sure the inspections are done i, I, I think at that time stuff. you can always put switches i mean worst comes to worst you can there is got to be switches you can put in here i mean it may not pass code but i think it's better if you're going to do a pocket door it'll be here you're walking in you can turn the switch on I don't know if you can have a switch outside for a... Yeah, because then you could get locked out and somebody turn the light. Around. But you could have one, I mean, small enough bathroom that it would be okay to put a switch on the face wall. I guess you could put one over there. Or put put one right here, switch and an outlet right here. It's just wonky, though. It doesn't make sense. But it, 
it doesn't make sense to make this room already small room any smaller. So no, this video is for Ritter. I say pocket door that way. Put a switch out here to pass code and then put a three way to where you can put another one in there. So you can turn it on and off in there. So a three way switch. One out here mm -hmm. and another one could be like where you can see it sideways yeah. with an outlet switch. A three way switch. Yeah. So you or, walk in and turn it off. Put it right over here. Which... But you got a mirror there. So I'd probably say and this is better. So that way you got a nice clean mirror. You can reach in. You know, it's a three way. Yeah. So if you're in here, you can turn it on. If you're out there, you can ch shut it off. Yeah. So that would be the game plan. Okay. Pocket door here. And then what size pocket door? I would go with the smallest pocket door. Same. I mean, it's the same. Though. Where's your tape measure? Let's double check. So now we can help him. What's, what style pocket door do you want? So before 9 16 jam, it's 80 inch tall, and right now his pocket door is a 28. So you can do a 28 inch and then rough opening for yeah, a 28. Yeah, I don't want it any smaller than 28, but yeah. 28's all right. So. Okay, so I'll, I'll mark it in here. Maybe we can. So, uh, what kind of, what style do you want? Where's that marker? Uh, here. Thanks. 